Hello everyone. Here it is Friday, September 17th, 2021. A little overcast day. I am here at a site that I've been trying to get to for a couple days now. Can you see it behind me? Let's see if I can do this. It's the Flight 93 National Memorial Site. Right over here, as you can see, is a tower. See it right there? Right there. It's called the Tower of Voices. I just rode down the path that the plane took. And you can almost hear the screams of those people as that plane was about to hit the ground. The terror, the horror, can't even imagine. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is so confused nowadays thinking of what heroism is. They think a football player taking a knee at our national anthem is heroism. They think a football player that makes millions of dollars coming out and saying, hey, I'm gay. They think that's heroism. No, that shows courage, not heroism. If you see this gray tower, let me see where I'm at, right here? You will be able to hear the voices of the people that died here that were real heroes. They knew that their plane was hijacked. They knew that their plane was going to be flew or flown into a building. Hundreds and maybe even thousands of people could have died. So what they did is they took control of that plane. And they deliberately and willingly crashed it killing themselves that is heroism that is pure love for people that you don't even know may we never forget what happened on that dreadful day with those radical people may we always hold all those who gave their lives both on that day and since that day the thousands of men and women that sacrificed their lives, the thousands of men and women that sacrificed their mind, their body, their existence due to them people. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people have been messed up because of that. Never forget, never forget. God bless America. Hello everyone, to continue my video from earlier, I want to show you something real fast. You see that path? Right out here is where Flight 93 and the heroic men and women on that flight decided to give their life to save thousands of people's lives, whether they know, knew you or not. Just imagine, these people loved you so much that they were willing to take a plane and crash it into the ground and give their life for you. This is the field where they passed away at, where they made the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, it's been 20 years, but in, to the families, it's been as it was yesterday. America, please do not forget what these heroic men and women did on that day to save our country. And for those who have ever served, those who are still serving, like my sons, thank you, and may God bless America.